I'm Hyun Sung Lee, president of Hyundai Motor Company, in charge of R&D and product planning. Presently, we're here in Korea at your new R&D facility. Not so new, I guess, anymore, but still <laughs> new to me yeah, in right. Myung. Um, you've been working with Hyundai for 24 years yeah, now. Yeah, that's right. Um, you've worked on pretty much every engine they have. You've developed every engine they have. Mm -hmm. And now we're working on alternative energy, alternative engines. Where does Hyundai stand? Well, we are working on most of the alternative uh, energy systems like fuel cell, hybrid, diesel, clean diesel projects, quite a few, you name it. Uh, we drove your fuel cell today. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it, e is it, is it right to say that there are parts of the fuel cell that are natural for a hybrid? Uh, fuel cell is a little bit different from hybrid. Mm -hmm. uh, we think fuel cell might be the alternative of hybrid systems in the near future. If, if you were building a hybrid, would it help you when you're building a fuel cell? Do you see yourself bringing uh, hybrids out? Yeah, uh, not completely. Maybe, you know, it overlaps a certain portion of the technology, but not much. It's a two, two different technologies, I should say. Do, your fuel cell that you already have has a lithium-ion battery in it. Yes, yes. That's progressive. And how are you able to do that, build your own fuel cell stack? When people think of Hyundai, they think very inexpensive cars, cheap cars. And yet you're working on hybrid, fuel cell, uh, all of the alternative energies. As to become a successful auto manufacturer, we got to work on advanced technology and especially alternative fuel systems. Although we are working, we produce uh, lots of you know, value for money vehicles, but still we have to work on new technology. The, there's a combustion called HCCI. Yeah. Which do you think is going to be harder, HCCI or a fuel cell vehicle? HCCI is a complicated technology. We got to control the combustion process efficiently. And also fuel cell is also a very difficult technology. And it's a lot of research work. But most probably fuel cell will be a little bit nearer for practical usage. Are you working on HCCI? Yes, we are also work on HCCI. We talked earlier at lunch about diesel, about clean diesel. The one that we talked about that I'm interested in is your heavy truck diesel. Because in the United States, there's a big push for biodiesel. And yet, the standards for biodiesel are not there. And the truckers are having a hard time because they find themselves using biodiesel and then their engines get messed up. How, what, it, what will you have as a standard that you can use biodiesel in a regular diesel heavy truck? For heavy duty trucks, we limit biodiesel content less than 5% to prevent any uh, wear problem of the moving parts of the engine and fuel system. Otherwise, it will really mess up the total system. Will you have to get a standardization for biodiesel before you will go higher for biodiesel? Yeah, oils? we should. We got to set up certain standard for every different kind of biodiesels with different standard. We got to fix it. You brought out a Hyundai in at the Geneva Auto Show that had GE Plastics Lexan on it, which would decrease the amount of weight on a car and still Definitely. get the safety. Yep. What is Hyundai doing to reduce weight in vehicles? We are using 
quite a few different kinds of alternative material like uh, strengthened plastics and also aluminums and you name it, many different kinds for us to reduce the weight to improve the fuel economy and less emission and all this. Your, uh, today we went through um, your recycling department. They showed us some of the recycling that was going mm -hmm. on. You're recycling 85% of your uh, vehicle and reusing it. Um, are you, is that helping cut down cost and will it be passed on to the consumer for the car? Yeah, at the end of the day, we got to uh, somehow collect all the uh, uh, cars, used cars, and we got to d dismantle it and recycle it. So to minimize the recycling cost, we got to design the cars very easy for recycling, which will eventually make the you know, cost lower. That is our goal, and also protect the environment. Do you, are you looking at doing flex fuel in the United States? Yeah, we are working on it. And we are working on E85. I've heard you're, you'll have something by 2009. Is that realistic? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what do you have any idea of when you would have the clean diesel for all 50 states? that would come over to the United States? Because you're yeah, we are working on it, and uh, most probably we will be, we will introduce our first 50 state clean diesel vehicle by sometime around year 2010. Because you have diesel in Korea and in Europe. Yeah, we already exporting half, close to, close to half a million diesel engines a year. President Lee, thank overseas. you very much. Thank you very much.